Here at The Game Mag, we've covered a lot of topics related to Axie. We've covered the game itself, what things you should do when getting started, and how you can get a scholarship. There are still a couple of things to cover, and one of them is the aspect of breeding. The act of breeding means that you can have two of your Axies breed or produce a new Axie. Keep in mind that this is one of the ways you can make money in the game. If you breed an Axie that has impressive stats and body parts, you can sell that for a lot of money. Breeding doesn't have to be complicated when we're here to help with our 10 tips for Axie Infinity breeding. Number 1. Choosing the Axies to Breed When you breed Axies, you need two of them, which is pretty obvious. However, when deciding on which Axies to breed, there are a lot of factors that go into it. Breeding Axies cost in-game resources and real-life money, which you have in the game already. You don't want to waste money breeding Axies that are inferior. That's why the best thing to do is to choose Axies that have impressive parts and stats. That way, the offspring will potentially have a lot of the things that made the parents superior in the first place. It also helps when you look at what's the meta currently. Right now, plant axes seem to be the most popular ones and are the ones that are selling well. You need to check which axes are hot prior to breeding. In case you have any of those, you can breed and pop a quick sale. Then again, there are players that breed for the sake of making their roster of axes even stronger. They won't sell those offspring, but rather use them for adventure or PvP farming. Choosing which axes to breed can be a puzzle in itself, but that depends on what you need. Number 2. The Actual Breeding Process When you've decided which axes to breed, we'll tackle the actual process. You choose the two axes that you want to breed, and the best part is it doesn't matter who the daddy is. And what I mean by that is the results depending on chance will be the same regardless of who you assign as the parent. Once you've picked the parents, take a look at the resources needed. You need three resources to breed axes, and one of them is the SLP that you can farm in the game. The other resource is the AXS or the Axie token that you can also get in the game. The last one is the gas fee, which requires a specific amount of ETH. That's right, this one is something that requires you to spend money on. When you have no issues with the resources, just start breeding and an egg will be sent to your inventory. That egg will mature in 5 days regardless of the type of Axie it is. You can't use that yet until you morph it into an adult, which is done on the 5th day. Just morph it into an adult and you got a brand new Axie that you can use for whatever reason you want. Number 3. The Breeding Count one of the things that you need to be mindful about when it comes to breeding Axie is the breeding count. This is the number of how many times your Axie can breed. All of them as of now can only breed a total of 7 times. The breeding count can matter to a degree because the more your Axie is bred, the better it gives out when it comes to the offspring. Let's say an Axie that breeds for the first time can give out a good Axie. However, an Axie that has been bred more than once can potentially give birth to a very astounding Axie which is better in a lot of fields. The downside to this is that the more times you breed an Axie, the higher the resources you have to pay. It gets more expensive the more you breed Axies, which is why some players usually breed Axies up to a fourth time because it becomes a bit pricey later on. That's one thing you can think about, which is to breed another set of Axies so that you can still get good Axies for less the price. Number 4. Simulating Axie Breeding Now that you have an idea of how the process works, let's start with the actual tips when it comes to it. Let's start first with Axie Breeding Simulators. These tools are used to give you an idea of what Axie offspring will come out depending on the parents you use. It's like a mad scientist experiment, but the good thing is that you know what the results will be. This goes back to number 1, where you choose the right Axies that you want. Then again, most of the time you're limited to your own Axie, so you can use breeding simulators to help you find out what you'll get with your own Axies. You can go to Axie.Zone and find their breeding simulator tool. When you want to use it, all you have to do is copy the ID numbers for the axes that will be the mom and dad. The tool will detect what axes they are, and when you click on toggle odds, you'll see the percentages of which parts the offspring will have. Using this simulator gives you an idea of what the offspring would be, but even better is that you can press on the breed button to really give you the idea of what the offspring will be like. Here's another nice tip. Even if you don't own the axes, you can copy the ID numbers of different axes from the official marketplace. You'll see what the results are, and it's a nice little experiment to see what other players' axes can come up with when they are bred. Number 5. The Axie Pricing Calculator You may breed axes to get an offspring that can have impressive stats and parts, but the question is, will it sell for a good amount? There are players that breed to sell, and that's not a bad thing. That's where you can use the Axie Pricing Calculator, which you can get if you head over to Axie.Tech. 
You just copy and paste the ID number of the Axie that you are planning to breed. You'll get a price point of how much that Axie will sell on the market. If it sells for a good price, then you can use that for breeding. That's because the offspring will sell for a good amount due to the parents having good prices. That's where the Axie Simulator comes into play, when you finally want to start breeding because you have potential money to make. All you have to do next is make sure that the Axies will be good. Number 6. Download the Freaks Axie Extension A very useful tool you can use for breeding is the Freaks Axie Extension, which we'll include in the description. This extension is for Google Chrome only, and you can download it for free. What this does is that you will find out the dominant and recessive genes of the Axie that you plan on breeding. This extension is free and safe, so don't worry about anything harming your device. Number 7. The Dominant and Recessive Genes At this point, you already know what parts and potential offspring you will get, but it's now time to know about the dominant and recessive genes. The dominant genes are the ones that usually get passed on to the offspring. The recessive genes categorized as R1 and R2 are those that have a low chance of getting passed on. Why is this important, you ask? That's because some of the best parts may be recessive and you have low chances of getting them to your offspring. Using the Freaks Axie extension that you just installed, you can hover over the stats of your Axie and you'll see which genes are the dominant ones and recessive ones. If you have an Axie that has a lot of multiple colors, then that Axie is not ideal for breeding. Even if it has parts that are good, it may get lost in the shuffle when you eventually breed it. The best case scenario is that you get a parent that has all the same colors. The next ideal case is if you have an Axie that has a lot of the same colors dominating over the rest. That way, it'll be your breeding Axie that you can mix with other Axies. In fact, master breeders can have an idea of what the offspring will be just by using the tool and hovering over the stats. This is the same as using the breeding simulators since the parts that have the highest chances of getting passed on are those that have high percentages. Basically, if the Axie's genes are too diluted and mixed, then better not use that for breeding. Number 8. Mixing may not be a bad idea A lot of people will go for purebred Axies, which isn't a bad idea. They want to breed plants with plants that have a dominant gene of all plants. However, it still goes to the fact of what kind of Axie that you need. Using a purebred to breed with another type can also produce wonders. If you have a purebred plant and want to mix it with a purebred reptile, then you can get some interesting results. Different players have different needs, because some may need tanks and they can produce tanks if they want to. Keep in mind that the stats and genes of the parents are not affected or changed whenever they breed. Number 9. Minor Breeding Details We already mentioned that the price of breeding goes up every time you breed an Axie. One other detail is that you cannot breed a parent Axie to their offspring. Mom or dad cannot be bred with their children, and on the other hand, sibling axes cannot breed with each other. Good thing too, dear god, that would be disgusting. This is an interesting feature that the game has, so that players will not be able to breed with ease. I mean, I'm sure that's not the whole reason, but let's just stick with that one for PG sakes. Then again, the price alone for breeding axes limits the player from breeding fast. It helps stabilize the economy and not have an oversaturation of bad axes on the market. Number 10. Keep up with the news. The game meta changes from time to time, and that's just how it is. Plants are very popular right now, but next month, that may change. If you're breeding axes to make money, you need to keep up with the news. Find out which axes are in hot commodity right now so you can focus on them. Check the internet before you start breeding so that you won't lose money or not get the ones that you want. It never hurts to make sure, and information is always free all the time. Now that you have an idea when it comes to breeding axes, you can start doing a couple of them today. Never get discouraged because even if you get an average Axie for breeding, you can sell that for a price or use it for scholarships. That's all for now, but tune into the game mag for more when you hit that like button and hit subscribe.